Hey guys, Dane here again. Um, I thought I'd kind of uh, get into more advanced paradiddle stuff that we started with the first lesson um, and maybe kind of go over, kind of clear up uh, what I was talking about with some of the stuff on the uh, first lesson because I didn't have a drum set that I was playing on at the time. Um, but I'm at the music school now, so I have a drum set. Um, so first, let's talk about, um, if you haven't first checked out the first lesson, then uh, go ahead and check that out. Um, and this will make a little bit more sense with the first part. Um, but yeah, I'd like to play the groove that I was talking about, uh, incorporating the paradiddles between the hi-hat and the snare drum. Okay, so the first one we have is the paradiddles where we're subdividing in 16th notes. So that's going to be four notes for every beat. Um, and then the second one we're going to have is where we're interpreting the paradiddles as triplets. So you're going to have three notes per beat, but we're going to create kind of like a polyrhythmic texture um, because we're going to keep the paradiddles, the, the sticking is going to be the same. So the sticking's in four, and you're still going to accent and pulse the first of every four. Um, you're just gonna interpret the rhythm as triplets. Um, so that's what this is what that'll sound like. Okay, and then so that's pretty much. I hope that kind of clears up uh, if anyone had any questions. No one wrote anything, but uh, that might kind of clear up what I was talking about in the first lesson. Okay, so now we can kind of get on with the second lesson um, and talk about uh, more advanced, like, paradiddle groupings and things like that. Um, so we have paradiddles, which we have right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And there's what's called a paradiddle diddle. So if you watch the first video, you kind of know how, you know, you can uh, maybe guess what a paradiddle diddle will sound like. Um, and remember, we have the diddles are the doubles. So paradiddle, right, left, right, right. That's where the double is. Left, right, left, left. If you have a paradiddle diddle, okay, it's going to be right, left, right, right, left, left. And then um, since it's a... Uh, since you're doing a double off the left for the second diddle, you can start back on the right hand. You can start back with whatever hand you started with. So right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. Or if you start off the left hand, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. So I'll show you what that kind of looks like on the pad. Here we go. Right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. Or left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. It's kind of a combination of both of them. Um, and this is what it kind of sounds like if you were to maybe make it into a groove, kind of apply the same things we did with the first paradiddles onto the drum set. Right hand on hi hat, left hand snare drum. Okay. Or if you want to start off the left hand. So um, now, uh, so we have paradiddles, paradiddle diddles. You can have a para paradiddle, which by now you might be able to figure this out pretty well. It's just going to be right, left, right, left, right, right. So with that one, just like the paradiddles, the first paradiddles, uh, if you like continue it, you have to switch hands. So the first one, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, or starting off the left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left. And um, with both the para paradiddle and the para diddle diddle, you can still interpret those differently, just like we did with the first paradiddles. Okay, now I'll just kind of uh, 
mess around, starting with the paradiddles, you know, maybe incorporate some fills in there, just to uh, show you, you know, how much you can kind of liven up your sound, maybe give it more of a, more of a three-dimensional um, sound, like I was talking about in the first video, okay? Thanks for watching. Peace.